What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. So, let's go to do a camera comparison between the Moto G Stylus and the, uh, the LG Stylus 6. Both of these devices here is going to cost you around 300 bucks. Uh, both of them have some unique things going on with it. Some things that I like and some things that I, that I don't like. But we go compare both of them. I'm going to show you some photos and some video between both of these devices. Also, I'm going to do this daytime only. I'm not going to do no nighttime videos. If you follow my channel, y'all guys know that uh, I have stopped doing some nighttime footage right now until everything calmed down in America. So right now, as of me recording this video, I'm not doing no nighttime footage right now. All right. So since we got that disclaimer out the way, Let's talk about the LG uh, Stylo 6. This device here has a has a, a triple camera setup, right? But it does not shoot in 4K. It's a phone does not have a lot of features as far as uh, you know what you know and love, especially in 2020. It does not have no slow mo shots. Uh, it does have portrait mode. It does have video, but it does not have. Uh, slow mo, it does not have some unique features that we all know and love in 2020. All right, so if you look at the the Moto G Stylus camera array, uh, it does have 4K, it does have 1080p 60 frames per second, it does have portrait, it does have micro shots, it does have night vision, it does have uh, slow mo and everything in between. So the, the Moto G Stylus is feature prep packed with a lot of features versus uh, the LG Stylus 6. So uh, if when it comes down to features, uh, the Moto G Stylus is the one to get because I guess since the MediaTek processor with the LG Stylus 6, it does not have all those features in the camera array. But we're going to compare both of them and we're going to see what it's all about. Also, another disclaimer before we get started, I clean the camera lens on both devices. The front camera lens and the rear camera lens will be clean prior to me shooting this video. All right, I like to get these disclaimers out the way. And the reason why is because a lot of people always ask the questions, did you clean the cameras? Did you do this? Did you do that? So I like to get this out of the way before I start my comparisons between devices. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so here it is. I got the Moto G Stylus and I have the LG Stylus 6. Both are running 1080p, 60, 30 frames per second. And I'm gonna go audio from side to side with both devices. It's a windy morning, so you guys are gonna hear wind uh, uh, with both devices. So let's see which one is better. I'm holding both devices on a tripod with no stabilization, so you be the judge for yourself. Let's go on and get into some focusing. Which device is gonna focus the fastest? Unfortunately, the LG Stylo 6 does not have 4K, does not have slow motion, uh, so this be advised of that. Also, the Moto G Stylus uh, has a 64 megapixel camera with some type of pixel bending and all that kind of stuff with quad pixels. So you may see some sharpness uh, in one versus the other. So that was... Uh, I was okay. The focusing was okay here on both devices. All right, so let's go on and see if we can zoom in on both devices. We got our uh, prop over there. Let's zoom in. This is going to be eight times zoom on the Moto G Stylus. Let's go all the way in. All right, four times zoom. That's all you could get on uh, the LG Stylus 6. All right, so let's go four times zoom on the Moto G Stylus. 
and so we could be even Steven here. Okay, that's a uh, four times zoom. Which one is better? All right, let's go back out. Let's go back out here. All right, let's look at the sky. All right, the sky is nice and uh, pretty this morning. Nice blue. Let's look at the grass. Okay. All right, you see how it's uh, starting to adapt to the light? Okay, not bad, not bad at all. All right, so this is the front facing camera on both devices. Uh, and one of the things that frustrated me about the LG Stylo 6 is that it does not have camera features. Maybe it's because of the MediaTek processor. That's a shame. Uh, the MediaTek processor on here is stopping it from having 4K. It does not have slow motion. Uh, and it does not have a lot of features that the Moto G Stylus have. That's a shame. So this device is a gorgeous device. I mean, it runs okay. But when it comes down to the camera features, you can forget about it uh, uh, with both of these devices. And look, and this is something that you got to understand when you look at that both devices. As you can see, the Moto G style has got to be nice and dark. The background is blowing out. Uh, looking at the, the LG uh, Style 06, <laughs> the background is blowing out. Uh, not that great uh, in, the, in the film. And look at the, the Moto G style, is, is, is this half me just completely. Uh, I don't know. Almost unusable. I'm not liking. I'm not liking the way it look. Uh, let's see. See right here. C almost unusable on the Moto G Stylus. The the LG uh, Stylo 6. Again, I really kind of got me blown out. Pretty much unusable. Also, both of these front facing cameras for what I'm looking at right now, the viewfinder, is almost unusable. I don't know which one I'll pick, but. Um, Yes, I mean, this is what you get for 300 bucks. Both of these devices is 300 bucks. So you be the just for yourself when you pick up this mid-range device uh, and go from there. But I mean, if I had to take one device over another, I would take as far as the camera arrays, I would probably go with the LG Style 06. At least you can see me. It's a little dark for me uh, on the, the Moto G Stylus. It's really dark. Look at that. I mean, I'm totally dark out of the scene here. Both of these devices, as uh, I don't know. But there it is. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. You get what you pay for on both of these devices. See you guys. I got a lot of videos coming out with both of these devices, so stay tuned and subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Peace.